Here I am in a small local park. Well, picnic site. It's no doubt been hammered to death over the years by detectorists. There's quite a lot of crushed cans and foil and rubbish lying around in the car park, so I'm going to switch to the smaller coil and demonstrate pinpointing. Right, I've switched to the smaller coil, which is the 11 inch stock coil. Some people probably use even smaller ones in heavily trashed sites, but I'm not expecting this one to be too bad. So we'll go with the 11 inch. Um, and I'm going to dig the first decent two way signal. Right, we've got a decent signal here. It's not showing up as uh, conclusive, but it's possibly given the same signal as an old penny or a half penny. So it's worth a dig. First thing to do is pass the coil over one way. Draw yourself an imaginary line, roughly the size of your coil, in this case 11 inches. So the target's going to be somewhere in here. Turn 90 degrees. Draw your line here. Where these two lines meet is where you dig. This detector actually has a pinpoint function. So when you're just off the target, you press the button, it then turns the center of the coil into a standalone detector, which means you can detect it exactly. So I'll do that just to check, but I, I think it's roughly here. By doing that, confirms that this is exactly where I want to dig. I'll just check the depth. Right, it's saying it's about four inches. So if I dig down to about six inches, I shouldn't damage the target. Unfortunately, I've left my good metal detecting speed at home. So I'm gonna to have to go with a big speed, but digs holes just the same. So we allow a few inches either side of our intended target. Lift the flap up. Get our pinpointer out. That tells us we're pretty close to... to the inside of a watch. <laughs> Could have quite easily been a coin though. This one sounds a little bit more promising, possibly a penny. We'll uh, dig it up. This time, I won't use the pinpoint function on the detector. I'll just go from making a cross with a coil. See how close I get this time. Uh, and this time it is a penny. Unfortunately, it's a modern one pence, so it's worth approximately one pence.
There you go, another very neat dig. No need to dig huge excavations like I see some of the guys doing on YouTube. I just don't know how they manage to dig such big holes. This is obviously using a spade which isn't fit for purpose, because soon as I've left the other one at home, but once that gets a bit of rain on, you won't even be able to tell it's, it's been dug.